Well, dear friends, all of us gathered here today, we give thanks for the gift of baptism and for those individuals who are one with us in the body of Christ, whom we welcome as new members into the life and ministry of this congregation. I invite those who I named to give a wave as I introduce you. Today we welcome as voting members Paloma Sores. Your wave. Wave. This is your. This is your big moment. Yeah. See, now that she's already done that, you know the drill, right? <laughs> and Grace Magnuson. Well, together here as we welcome these new members, let us confess the faith of the church using the words of the Apostles' Creed. We believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. We believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father and he will come to judge the living and the dead. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Congregation, I invite you to please be seated. Well, Grace, Paloma, this is an exciting day. A little bit more excitement than we originally thought when we put this date on the calendar, but nevertheless, it is so good to have you both joining us here in the work of the church. Now it is on this day when you're excited and filled with new possibilities and hope of this community that you found of faith, this is where I like to always give the Wicker Park Lutheran Church guarantee. There is one thing and one thing only that I can guarantee you at Wicker Park Lutheran Church, and that is you will be disappointed. You will be disappointed in something stupid I say or do, or probably forget to do, is the big one. You'll be disappointed by the way that the council makes a decision or the congregation gathers together. You will be disappointed. And why I like to remind people of that guarantee today is because today in the newness and the freshness and the possibility of, all, of it all, today is the day where I hope you commit. Commit to make a decision about how you're going to react when you are disappointed. Because it's not if you're going to be disappointed, you will be disappointed. Now, if in that disappointment you decide to look for that perfect faith community out there, I send you with God's blessings and let me know when you find it. But if you choose to stay, if you choose to stay in the brokenness, in the uncertainty, in the frustration, well, in that, what I know to be true is that God works in the midst of disappointment and frustration to make things new. It is in those cracks that God opens it up with grace and love. It is in those cracks that we become to see God's presence in those gathered with us in this community. And so with all of that said, today I want to remind you of your baptism. I want to remind you that you were welcomed into the body of Christ and sent to share in God's mission. Here in this place now, you are called to live among God's faithful people, to hear the word of God and share in the Lord's Supper, to proclaim the good news of Christ through word and deed, to serve all people without exception, following the example of Jesus, and that you are empowered to strive for justice and peace in all the earth. So now I've said a lot of things, but siblings in Christ, do you intend to continue in the covenant of baptism among God's people in this place? If so, please say, I do, and I ask God to help and guide me. Beautiful. Congregation, I invite you to please stand as you are able. They said it if you couldn't hear it. Both of them. And now, people of God, do you promise to support and pray for these new members in their life in Christ? We do, and we ask God to help and guide us. Well, let us now welcome these siblings in Christ to the community of faith using the words printed in your bulletin. 
we rejoice with you in the life of baptism. Together we will give thanks and praise to God and proclaim the good news to all the world. And before we give you a round of applause, we have some swag bags here of uh, some mugs and some pens and the bags. And our hope is, is that you display these proudly, that you use them as opportunities to talk about your faith community, and that you are reminded that we are here beside you through it all. And with that congregation, let us now welcome them with a round of applause. And as we continue our celebration, please sing together the doxology, which is printed in your bulletin. Praise God. 